Welcome back to The Raw Show. And tonight, we've got King Like Mom. All right, so everybody, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for coming out. Now, I have to ask, though, how, why King Like Mom? What's the story behind the name? Who wants to answer that? Oh, uh, so I don't know if you saw the movie Holes, uh, but it's from that movie. It's the first three, three words that Zero learns how to write in the movie. Really? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. I have seen the movie, but that, I didn't make that connection. It's like a little Easter egg. It's a little Easter egg. It's not, yeah. not, not spoken out loud. It's just... Yeah. Like one second trade. Okay. Makes sense. It's definitely something Julia saw. I remember you saying, you know. Yeah, she brought it to Oh, be a sick band name. I have that thought like a hundred yeah. times a day. That yeah. one came to fruition. Yeah. yeah. So I've noticed um, you seem to know each other very well and all that. How did you guys come together and decide, hey, we want to make a band out of this? Uh, Julia. Me, Julia. Well, they were born at the same time. Well, me, that, uh, that, that we were born in together yeah <laughs> um, no but um me and my sister and julia were have been jamming since 2017 or something like that yeah, we had like a like a little project going um, jam band mm -hmm. yeah, but fell through and then rose was in the scene we've known rose mm -hmm. She was, scene. She's in the scene. And the scene. Yeah, she, I've been she, playing in another that, band. She, for, she, we used to play shows back when we were in like, different bands. Different bands, maybe like 14, 15. Always admired each um, other. Yeah, before. we've always we've always played shows Our together in separate bands, bands for years. Together. But I never knew Julia. Yeah. So we were like in the same scene, kind of. But you were like in a faraway land that and I, I was in the scene with them. But I never really I, played yeah. with you. Interesting. I always uh, admired Rose. And Julia and I used to love watching them both yeah. play in their separate bands. Like, I wish I could play music yeah, with her. Yeah. We always said, uh, like, oh my god, I'd love to play music together. Oh my god! And then like one night we both we had like, a show together with our modern day machines and, and lioness, lioness at yeah. Cargo. Julia came up to us and was like. She's like, we should start playing again. I'm like, we should get Rose. I was like, I want to play too. Yeah. <laughs> and we like and recruited we were like, her. Oh my God, why why haven't we thought of this? After the show, after her set was done. <laughs> I want to I wanna join, guys. <laughs> and no, the rest I, is history. We went up to her. Here we all. Yeah, I was like, you want to play music with us? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. I yeah. You guys yes. have a lot of good chemistry with each other. I think that's probably why your sound comes across the way it does. Thank oh, you. I don't really like them. Thank but. you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was also going to ask, though, because, you know, you said you play in different bands. Uh, but you don't just play in different bands. You play in different bands with totally different styles, too. Um, has that, um, does that influence your style a little differently, your lyrics, maybe, or anything like that? Or is it just, like, a break from the style that you do now? It's a break from the other bands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think um, it's a... I think it's what makes us King Like Mom. Like all the different all influences and different yeah. things we do just come together and make King Like Mom. Like it's just. I yeah, think it's I think the more you, you have variety in your, your life experience, your music experience, and what you listen to, the more that's going to lend to how interesting music is. That's my opinion. But um, yeah, everybody comes from like an evolution of all different kinds of genres and stuff. I still play in like a bunch of different genre music groups. Um, and I think that that it only benefits like this band, you know, and same for the other bands like this band benefits like, you know, it's just human growth, mm -hmm. you know. All right. Thank you so much. But let's get back to your music. So next song we have up by King Like Mom is Sammy Sosa.
Welcome back. And here's King Like Mom once again. <laughs> All right, I also wanted to ask you a little bit more about your influences and things like that. Um, could you tell us about maybe some of the other bands that you play with, too? Rose, why don't you start? Sure. Uh, the other band that I play with is called Modern Day Machines. Um, I'm actually in a band with my husband, Patrick Wakey. He fronts and writes and does dances. He does it, he does it all. Um, but he, he sings and plays bass. Um, and, you know, my other bandmates are also absolutely incredible musicians, songwriters. Um, like Julia said, you know, truly blessed to just be a part of that scene. Um, we have Joe Mar Vargas and Tom Mulvaney also in that band. Um, but I have been playing, Modern Day Machines is a, kind of a newer concept um, as of like the last five, six years or so maybe. Uh, but we actually all started playing with like a slightly different lineup back in 2008. So, been been playing together for a minute, yeah. The process of fusion. The process of fusion, yeah. yeah it was like a rap That's... rock thing at the time, mm -hmm. and then, you know, kind of moved on to something a little bit, um, just a little bit more progressive, a little bit more like emo, and um, yeah, it's you know, I just the the lineup has changed up a little bit, but our drummer has been in the band since like 2010, 2011, and. You know, it's just, it's it, like evolving. We love it. Yeah, I've, I have uh, two other projects that have been on the show pre uh, in the past, uh, Streganona and Kevin Norton's mm -hmm. uh, Jazz Essence. And, uh, you know, love them. <laughs> been playing with them for a long time. Been playing with Kevin for uh, about 11 years this year. Really? <laughs> yes. That's wow. That's <laughs> so, uh, or maybe next year it'll be 11 years, or 10 years, whatever it is. And uh, love that if you know he's made me grow as a musician. He's, I was gonna say if you've been with them for a long yeah, time. Like long, that, yeah, long long time. I've played with him longer than anyone. So, um, yeah, and uh, the twins. We've been playing. Me and my sister have been playing together since we were twelve. So yeah. twenty years. Amazing. Yeah. Right. We're thirty-two. Yeah. We we've, right? we've been in <laughs> literally like every uh, band together. I feel yeah. priceless. Almost every band. Besides <laughs> one. But um, um, kicking in the womb. Yeah, yeah. we we were uh, playing rhythm in the belly. We actually was betrayal used to play with Process of Fusion, her, her old, her band. old band. So yeah. it's like a little six degrees Back separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah. two thousand, we were around from two thousand four to two thousand twelve. We they were so cool. <laughs> now, you. why don't we share another song of yours? <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Fragrance by King Like Mom.
Welcome back. And here once again is King Like Mom. I also wanted to know a little bit about your songs themselves. How do you go about writing them? What's your most personal song? And oh was there ones that were really like hard to get out there? I want to know definitely about that process. Mm. They all hurt. Yeah. yeah. I think they're all very personal in specific ways yeah. for each of us. Yeah. Especially, especially like specific lyrics, you know, personally really resonate with each of us. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm not going to get into that, but that's kind of how I feel about yeah. specific lyrics of songs in general. Um, yeah. For me, when I get in the mode of writing some of the lyrics or just lyrics in general, I usually, it's like therapeutic for me. So it'll come from a negative place, trying to turn the negative into the positive. So the lyrics tend to be maybe a little bit, um, a little sad and maybe um, searching for hope. Uh, I think that's this is a general motif uh, in, my, in, my, in the lyrics I contribute uh, to this band. Um, whether it be hyper personal about a specific person or about life, like mm -hmm. Tantrum is just kind of about searching for meaning in life and searching for hope in life. And then there's songs that are about, you know, finding balance and joy and the pain of different relationships. So I would say, um, yeah, there's like a, it's dramatic, very dramatic lyrics, very, <laughs> very know. emotional lyrics, yeah. very emotional. Yes. And what I really loved about writing with this band too is that like it really is kind of like 25% all around. Like typically, you know, we'll have like sometimes, I mean, I, I, said, I would say everybody but me has written lyrics for the song, for a song, you know, in this band. But, you know, everyone comes to the table, typically Julia or like, you know, Alex. Um, but, you know, even songs that Amanda has written. And, you know, it's like, hey, I have this idea or I have a couple of lyrics. And then it's like, bam. I mean, like, we like all add on to yeah, it. Um, yeah. Like fragrance specifically, she had that song written mm. on just like acoustic. Yeah. But we all added yeah. our own stuff to it. But she had harmonies it right. and stuff and yeah. Um, yeah. And the and the lyrics. She wrote the yeah, lyrics. There's yeah, there's more lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but like other songs, teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. makes that dream work. Yeah, one one of us will come to the table, like bring mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Our practices are also therapy sessions. So like we so talk lyrics a lot. come to fruition during the conversation. Yeah. Like especially if you haven't seen each other, we had to start by crying. Yes. Yeah. Imagine if we did. And then the music. Yes. But that so, helps the music. So this is true musical therapy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Literally. I would say. Literally. 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 All right, last song of the night, everybody. We have King Like Mom singing Tantrum.
welcome back. And once again, King Like Mom. Now, after hearing all your music, I need to know where I can find all of you. Um. <laughs> Next show, Mother Pugs, 9-6, also September 6th. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts at 7.30 p.m. <laughs> Instagram, there. King Like Mom. Facebook, King, King Like, like Mom. Mom. <laughs> um, all our links are on our Instagram's uh, bio section. Yeah, and you could just go to any platform and write King Like Mom. You can Google King Google. Like Mom. Google. And it will come up. We're on the YouTubes. We're on and the I YouTube. believe you are still are verified as well on Spotify. So yes. That's wow. Cool. wow. Oh when did that happen? Oh my. Nice. I didn't even know. We've been verified, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love Thank that. you again for coming on the show, sharing your music, sharing your stories, and of course, your humor. I love that even more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for having you. us. Thanks for having us.